Hi guys, in today's video I want to unbox and go through with you my first ever, I think, Dior gift set purchase. I got a bit carried away this season for some reason. <laughs> I went on literally looking for the lip oil because I wanted to do a review between the lip balm and the lip oil and also there's like an e.l.f. lip oil apparently dupe that I wanted to do a review on and somehow I got sucked into buying a gift set instead. It's that I also bought the advent calendar this year. I've just gone a bit crazy basically because it, I'm realising that actually it's quite good ways of buying stuff. Like I always thought, why would you spend that much money on it? But actually the amount of product you get for the money is pretty decent. So anyway, I'm enjoying everything <laughs> that I'm buying at the moment. Um, and part of that is this Dior Addict The Beauty Ritual gift set. I was sucked into it because it comes with a pouch, which I'll show you inside. This one has the two lip balms in it. Uh, it's a lip balm, gloss and a serum and a little bottle of the Misty Dior perfume and then the pouch. So it comes in this gift box if you check, check the box saying you want the complimentary Dior gift wrapping. I know some people have said that they didn't get that, but I did. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little box that it comes in, which I feel like you could reuse. It's a good sturdy size and it's pretty and not too sort of tacky <laughs> to keep basically. Um, so yeah, in the box, you then get some nice tissue with the Dior labeling on. And inside here, you get another box that has got the pouch inside. And also as part of the process, um, they ask you if you want what free, I think they call it free gifts or free samples um, you want. And I got to select two. So I, I get, I got like, I think a Dior Savage one and a Dior J'adore perfume sample because my partner likes the Savage one and I thought I'd try the Chador one. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I like these little pouches that you seem to get with everything these days. <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like they, you know, there's always a use for little things like this, isn't there, to keep weirdly like screws and stuff in, is what I seem to find myself keeping in them. Um, so the free samples that I got are these two little perfume ones so the j'adore one is just a little spritzer thing i i'm not very good with perfume if i'm honest so this is quite a good way of trying it like i initially smelt this and thought oh my god this smells really nice but then literally about five minutes after i'd had it on my skin my skin seems to do stuff to things i then was like oh god no <laughs> so i'll probably give that to my stepchildren um the, and the little savage one i will give to my partner because he likes this and these are useful actually for taking traveling and you know like or like in your handbag obviously boys don't necessarily necessarily have handbags um my partner doesn't but he does like to keep these in his like travel bag so that he's like got miniature ones for on the go basically so that's just the free samples and then inside it's also a nice little Dior shredded paper, which I think is quite cute. <laughs> Inside here is another box, less interesting box. <laughs> it's more just of a normal cardboard box. And you get the pouch in here. So this is the pouch that sold me to the whole thing in the first place, because I thought it's pretty cute. Like it's navy velour, I guess, or velvety feel, like a nice little Dior logo on it, little zips. I feel like that would make a nice little sort of makeup bag or clutch bag even. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty easily sold by these things to be fair. <laughs> right, one thing I did notice was the zip is a little tougher than I would have expected for a brand now actually. I feel like I'm making that up, but when I first opened it, it seemed a bit awkward to do the zip, but now it seems fine, so maybe that was just me. Um, so in here, it was well, these products were all wrapped up in this bit of paper, but I have not bothered wrapping them up again because it's just annoying. Um, so yeah, that's quite good actually to keep this sort of shape of it, so I might keep that. Um, so in it came these two lip, lip gloss and a lip balm. This is the lip balm that I actually already have but this is a newer version of it this is the old one that i bought just after megan and harry got married whenever that was because megan was wearing this on her wedding day um and this is the same one but just a newer version so they've changed the packaging slightly um i really like this one so i was happy to get a newer version of it and interested to see if it was any different to be fair um it appears to be the same 
um, at the moment, but I'll do a little swatch in a sec. Um, and this is the Dior Lip Gloss. Yes, this is the Dior Addict Lip Glow, shade 00 Pink. This is a, that's a colour reviving lip balm that hydrates and smooths the lips with a cherry oil infused formula. That's my old one, this is a new one. Um, and this is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the shade 00 Pink. A pale pink, visibly plumping and hydrating gloss that gives lips a volumising shine. I mean, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm liking this so far. I've tried a bit, I'm not sure how to show you all of them. Um, and this, I like the little stick actually. I thought that I would prefer a big stick and I, I am gonna get the the oil, but I might just have to wait until payday <laughs> again, because <laughs> I've got a bit, went a bit crazy this one. So you can see it's got a nice shine on it. I don't know if you can see that, but. See, I love these ones because they're just a hint of pink which is ideal for me because I don't really like having a lot of colour on my lips. Whereas this just gives them a little hint of something and a shine. This, I don't know whether you would call it visibly plumping, <laughs> but it does feel like it's doing something. And when I was wearing, I can't remember if it was this or the bomb the other day on a video, when I watched it back, I thought, oh, my lips look nice in that. <laughs> so that's actually made me use it more. This is one of the good things about doing these videos, is that when you watch it back, you realise what does and doesn't work, like with what you wear and what you <laughs> what makeup you wear and things like that. So that's quite useful. <laughs> so yeah, like I like that actually. And it feels nice and nourish nourishing. It's not, I wouldn't say it's not sticky at all, but I don't think my hair would stick to it. No, oh, a little bit, actually. <laughs> so it's like not completely not sticky, but I wouldn't say it was sticky, if you know what I mean. Um, same with the balm, like anything you put on your lips is a little bit sticky, isn't it, to be fair? Um, it also comes with, like in this little pouch, a teeny tiny little bottle of Miss Dior perfume, which is very cute. I haven't tried this. I tried it. I tried to wash off the J'adore and then put this on, but I was still tainted by the J'adore. I'll put this on now and see if it grosses me out by the end of the video. See, this is a little bottle, so you have to actually put it on rather than just spritz it. So I'm whoop, not sure how well that's gonna go, but <laughs> yeah, it does smell really nice, actually. It smells more fresh, I think. I'm not very good with the ones that are more musty, maybe. Um, this is more fresh like basically the ghost the original ghost is the only perfume i've ever been able to wear since like the 90s um so yeah if i can find a new one then great but if not that is the cutest bottle ever anyway <laughs> and also it comes with a serum that this perfume by the way is called misty or blooming bouquet i don't know if there's other misty or ones i guess there must be this is the Capture Total Le Serum in 5 millilitres, the Dior age-defying serum that visibly improves skin firmness and corrects the major signs of ageing in a practical size that you can, a practical size <laughs> that you can take anywhere. <laughs> I don't know why you would need to take your serum anywhere, but, um, you know, I was just buying it for the lip glosses, so the other stuff was a bonus, really. And the lip glosses are like 32 quid each. And this whole set was £69. So basically, I pretty much got the the perfume and the pouch and this for free, in my mind. <laughs> so that's pretty, you know, that's good enough for me, basically. This is what the serum is like. It feels all right, actually. I don't know why, but I wouldn't go to Dior for my serum for some reason. Mostly probably because I'd be bankrupt in about five minutes. It does smell nice. I will try it. <laughs> but uh, like literally that's practically one application so I'm not going to hold out a lot of hope that I would be repurchasing this because I'd imagine it's extortionately expensive I'll look up how expensive it is and put it in the comments <laughs> anyway so yes that is my little pouch and my review of the new set that I bought and I'm really pleased with it actually I'll do separate reviews on the actual lip balms, I think, because it's easier for you guys to search it that way. So apologies if you are following my channel and like this is repeating itself. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you've enjoyed this video in any way, then please like and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for listening. Good night.